put up my hand. I'm wrong. Give my body a quick up. How old am I? Okay, I'm getting ready to head off to the gym this morning but I really need something to eat because I'm so so hungry and also because I'm going to run so I need something in my system but I barely have any things solid in my in my cupboard i'm trying to find, i don't have any bread i could do it like a toast because i need the carbs i also made myself some bone broth i'm just gonna drink this but i have crackers down here peanut butter but i'm like do i really want this i also have some cereal but do i really want this no because my cereal milk is also in the cupboard so it's not cold and i like it when it's cold so trying to figure out what to eat i do have these little squeezy things that i got from proses however it's a lot of sugar that's in there and i don't want anything too sugary the first thing in the morning so where does that leave me i don't know babe i don't know i think it leave me to just have the crackers i have the crackers and maybe some jam even that's so sugary as well some guava jam i just need a bit of carbs babe i just need a bit of carbs i'm gonna probably just have this with some crackers a couple of them and i'm gonna grab some groceries today i need to pick up a few bits because clearly i don't have anything <laughs> so i need to pick up like a few bits last night i had tuna and i had like a protein bowl like a salad bowl from crush and that was really really good so but today i don't have anything so i need to go to the grocery store but i can't go in the area and not just do a run before so i'm gonna like do a 5k run i've done like a 5k the other day and it just boots me i'm like i can't go to the gym and not do like a 5k now like when i'm gonna go and run i'm also i also want to do probably like a little bit of glutes but i'll see how i feel after the 5k um because i haven't worked glutes this week so it would be good to at least do some hip thrusts and some rdls after the 5k stretch and then leave so that's the plan for now but more to do the 5k but yeah i'm gonna drink my bone broth actually let me put together some of these today the plan um i still need to edit my dubai vlog i have i don't know why i haven't like used some time in the week to edit it honestly because well i know because i've literally been just going to the gym too much not too much time in the evening to edit that so i'm going to use some time to edit it today um i also need to do my laundry you know the usual weekend laundry i need to do with that also need to fold the ones that i have there and i need to pick up some groceries i'm gonna see if i have some time as well so i can bring my glasses down to spec savers for them to put my lenses in you know the little block ones that i have just hanging around it doesn't have my most recent um prescription in there also these prs i need to find storage for them i don't know if it makes sense to go down to tk max today as well where's this glasses don't tell me how to throw stuff on the glasses that's why the lens crack already these are the glasses i absolutely love the frame i just need to put my prescription in there um so yeah i'm gonna see if i can do this today i also need to do my nails um because my nails is a little bit cracked on this side and they're a little bit grown out they're not that all that grown out but it's because of the crack is on this side if it wasn't then i'll probably leave them for like another week but my hair keep getting stuck in it um i'm gonna see today's saturday the nail shop is normally very like overbooked so i don't know if i'm going to get any appointment today if not then i can always do it myself i can just file this down and basically um maybe put some glue or something i don't know i'll figure that out i've got like a couple crackers to just snack on here i've got i have like a um i have like a british airways card right like the american express british airways and i use that one for like everyday spending because you do get points on it as well and it's good to use like a credit card for like everyday spending if you're good with credit cards okay use it for everyday spending and i normally pay off like 
at the end of the month or sometimes weekly I'll pay off what the balance is but I like to pay off before or the statement date I'm saying that to say the other day they messaged me that I have like a companion voucher which means because you get avias points with the British Airways card so you can use the points to travel or you can use it for experiences hotels flight that sort of thing so they've messaged me that I have a companion voucher so I can either use it on like a solo trip and get 50% off which is amazing or I can like buy a trip buy a flight this is for flight economic flight I can buy a flight and then I can get a second person free which is amazing so now I'm trying to figure I was trying to figure out last night how it worked and like doing on TikTok and stuff um, but I think I need to go on my laptop and do it but honestly like if you don't have one of these cards try and get it if you're good with credit cards and just do your everyday spending because if you can get free travel then it's like why not why the heck not so really really love that for me i'm going to try and figure a bit more today though and i'm going to leave my reference code down in the description so if you guys want to use it then go ahead you get points me you get points i get points i think you get about four thousand points if you use my reference so I'm gonna leave that down below. Let's rack up on them points and use them for free travel. Cause you know you're gonna love a bit of traveling. And if you can get a ticket for free, then it's like, why not? I'm dressed and ready to go to the gym. That you can hear in the back, I have a load of laundry going and I'm just wearing like a, a one piece jumpsuit, play suit, whatever you wanna call it and yeah i'm gonna head out now it's about 10 55 i'm hoping to get back by one o'clock i'm just done running i ended up doing my first freaking 10k i'm sweating i'm hot but once i reach 5k i was like i can do this i start running i get 7k i was like it's only three more k left let's go do the 10k and here i am i'm running under like 62 minutes so I need to go a bit lower in time next time, but cheers to the first 10k. I did 5k the other day for the first time and look at me doing 10k like what, two, three days after. You just need a good, a good breakfast, mindset and some good music and just go for it. Just don't stop. I can probably run like a marathon right now. I'm gonna head off to the grocery store and head back home back from the gym back from picking up my groceries i'm gonna have something i'm gonna have loads of food the way i am starving at the moment i've done 728 calories so far probably more because you burn when you're even not working out i'm really hungry so I need to get something to eat. I'm going to show you my grocery in a minute, but I need to eat first. I can't believe I've done 10K today. I've only done a 5K on Tuesday for the first time. And here I am on Saturday running a freaking 10K and I feel really, really good. I feel like when I do cardio, it like fuels me. I know before when I normally run for like a minute straight, the way I was like out of breath, so much different now. I can run straight without feeling like I'm out of breath. My, my heart feels really, really good. And I'm happy that I'm able to like run and take care of her. My, my knee was giving me loads of issues. But she's fine now, I think. I think anytime I wear the knee band on my knee, I feel like she hurts a bit more. I don't know if it's maybe like a mind thing. Because I have it on my knee. I feel like my knee is hurting. The reason why I put it on. But now today, absolutely fine. When I ran the, the, 10, the 5k as well. I wasn't wearing it. Absolutely fine. I did a little 2k with it on my knee. Torture. So, I'm training myself to not wear that knee band on my knee. Only when I'm doing leg day and I need to like lift, I'm gonna wear it to like support my knee a bit. But when I'm running, I'm just gonna leave it off because my thing just tell me that my knee is hurting when I feel like it's because I have that band on. But feeling really, really good today. I'm so happy that I was able to do like a 10K. Like honestly, sometimes it be your own mind. Honestly, it be your own mind. And I had so much energy. Um so so much energy this morning 
and I haven't even had like any pre-workout or anything this was just solely on the food that I eat and the energy that I wake up with and that was it later today I don't know what's gonna happen but we'll figure it out later today we'll deal with it when it comes but for now I'm feeling amazing I'm probably gonna have some breakfast like I said uh, I did buy some eggs I think I'm gonna have tuna um, I'm gonna have about two can of tuna so that's about 40 something grams of protein I'm gonna have them in like a pita that I bought probably like some melted cheese I'm gonna put it in my toaster not my toaster I don't have a toaster I'm gonna put it in my air fryer cut up loads of like tomato cucumber peppers that sort of thing in there I'll show you guys what I'm making and I'm gonna have that for breakfast well post gym breakfast and I'm gonna make myself a nice fat juicy smoothie and that should give me like another 20 something grams of protein I really need it um so yeah feeling really good feeling really good go comment below in the comments and say congrats on your 10k thanks <laughs> i'm about to have my breakfast i'm going to show you quickly what i'm having i just have like two cans of tuna and i put them in like this pita bread with some cheese so that should be really really good and i also have like a protein smoothie as well i have like blueberries strawberries banana peanut butter um glutamine some creatine in there almond milk in this so yeah this should fill me up as well mm. and protein powder so i'm gonna eat bon appetit mm. Mm -hmm. yes i was just about to start hanging up my laundry in the washing machine but I need to kind of take this stuff up off of here and I need to pack out my groceries. So let's do that before I get into the crazy stuff. Um, I don't have much cleaning to do today. Um, I Let me just see if I can lock this properly. Ugh, this tripod drive me crazy, honestly. Yeah. So I don't have that much cleaning to do today. I really need to start my PR. I don't think I'm going to go down to the eye shop. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do my nails. Nothing that I said I'm going to do today, I'm probably not going to do because I'm tired. I really need a nap. It is also not, um, not a priority, but it's things that I wanted to do. The glasses, I need to get that sorted. I'm thinking maybe just try and do it somewhere close to my work. I don't know. Because maybe it will be done a little bit quicker. I don't know. I'll try and figure that out. I do have a glasses like I said. But it's just not my current prescription that's in there. I'd like to see a little bit more in 3D. Yeah, I'd like to probably have like something a bit more you know, fashionable. To be fair these lenses I can barely see through them. <laughs> so hopefully when the other ones come. The frame is not really blocking, blocking the lenses. Anyways. I'm going to pack up my grocery. Because I have like meat in here that needs to be in the fridge ASAP. And I have loads of clothes on the bed that I need to fold up from like laundry that I did in the week. So I need to like fold those up. And my little sister and my dad is coming over tomorrow. So I need to make sure I do my editing today because tomorrow they're coming over. So I'm not going to really get to do much during that time. So yeah, everything that I have to do today, I need to do today. Content wise, I might do a little bit of filming here and there as well. But yeah, let me just pack this up and kind of like chop chop so i can at least get a little 60 minutes nap in or 90 minutes I, I need it okay after that 10k i need to at least take a little bit of nap well see i'm a bit i was a bit confused as to what not confused but more like i didn't really know what i wanted to eat so i kind of pick up the same thing i did pick up this which i don't know why i did oh and it's unsmoked as well i pick up gammon steak i'm gonna like see how i can put this i don't know i've never tried it before I'll try gammon when it's like Christmas time and it's like pork and stuff and I don't I, I, I don't know why I pick it up to be fair. I absolutely have no idea. Pick up some prawn. Chicken. Which I'm just going to put these in the fridge. Meanwhile, I'm like taking them out. Why did I pick this up? I did 
think ask my dad to bring me some mutton tomorrow so he's gonna bring me some mutton and then i can probably like curry that sometime in the week when i have like a rest day or something which should be really really good pick up like a garlic seasoning also picked up some oranges i did pick up some bananas as well i do also have watermelon in the fridge i've been eating loads of watermelon especially like in the morning well throughout the day to be fair as like snack i'll bring like a bunch of it to work with me in the morning because i got like a whole um watermelon i have like just this much left so i'm gonna like cut it up before it spoils as well and probably have it between today and tomorrow i also picked up some fish cakes not too sure where i picked that up pick up some olives to like munch in, some hummus I can use that to like glaze whatever I'm eating and then pick up some avo baked bean I was gonna have this today but I decided to go with the tuna when I pick up some of this some sweet potatoes I can have with my chicken I'm just gonna put them like in the air fryer have it Whoa. it's a good thing that didn't really mash up my toe cheese and then I pick up like just some um what do you call this mustard I can like put on my egg or something I don't know I need to start writing my grocery list, right? Because what is this? What is this? Picked up some banana, like I mentioned. Let me just put her here. Some flat crackers. I really do love these crackers. Um, what I've been doing, I've been just have it with tuna sometimes. Or I would like do it with cottage cheese. I will literally just dip it in the cottage cheese and have it. I can also have this with hummus. And then just have that to like snack on. It's really, really good. Pick up one of these Lenore Unstoppable. Makes my clothes smell amazing. Some spring onion. Another cucumber. And also pick up yogurt. And I just like having yogurt and blueberries again as like a snack. So instead of buying snacky snack, I get these snuff to snack on. So like the hummus and the crackers and then the Greek yogurt and the blueberries. And I also have the cucumber. I also like having the cucumber as snack as snack sometimes. And I also have it with cottage cheese. I have a little bit of cottage cheese left. So I might need to get a little bit more, maybe like midweek, Tuesday, so forth. So yeah, that's what I got for my snacky bits. I'm going to pack up all of this kind of like take up the dishes that's dry there wash the dishes that i have and that i just eat out of and yeah go fold up my laundry actually before i do all of that well before i start washing dishes or whatever i need to like pack up my laundry and then kind of like start another load so that can keep going meanwhile i'm going as well i am just organizing my cupboard kind of like throw away stuff that i know that i'm probably not going to be eating and stuff that's been in there for a while so even this crouton i think we can throw these away i'm definitely gonna have these almonds didn't even know that i had them in there these i can throw away oh i don't even know i have this noodle in here i have a noodle that's amazing this is probably spoiled these has been in here for a while these prawn cocktails um also oats i can throw that away Do I put these pouches in the fridge or do I just leave them? Let me read the, the label and see what it says. What it says. Uh, store in a cool, dry place. Avoid direct sunlight once open, refrigerate. Okay, so you store in the cupboard type of thing maybe. Because the fridge is wet, so it wouldn't be the fridge.
hello guys it is a uh, monday i think the last time i saw you was on saturday basically what i did on saturday i cleaned and i didn't really show that part because i really wanted to just get cleaning out of the way and then i started like doing some editing didn't finish doing my editing on saturday and then on sunday is when is it sunday yeah on saturday was when i did that 10k run clean everything by the time i'm done when i tell you that my feet even now my feet killing me babe because i run in the wrong shoes you can't be doing up 10k 5k so basically for the week i'll do more than 20k run in that shoes put up my hand i'm wrong because now hi my feet my feet my feet sunday in my body i crick up how oh, old am i <laughs> sunday i basically went to the gym and by the time i got back from the gym my dad and my little sister was here so i barely had any time to like do anything else because i had you know family over also about a new shoes let me show you whoa see literally my it's mainly my shin my calves dangerous sickening even my jaw can't lock because i don't know what's what i'll be with that another day anyways i bought some new shoes so these are meant to be good for running and training in them these are the under armor dynamic flow um so it's kind of like a multi-purpose type of shoe so i was like okay this is perfect for me since i'm running but i also train a lot and they're honestly so cute i got these on sports direct and guess how much i paid for these they only had like a few sizes left and they had like a big sale going these were originally a hundred and something pound and i got them for 35 pound on the package on the box it said it was like 50 something pound it said it was originally 115 and then 58 pound but i got it for 35 on the website which for me is such a great steal because i wore them today and they're literally so comfortable for 35 pound crazy and they're so cute as well big steal so i had to get a new shoes because i can't believe i run in that shoes and my foot mash up did leg day today honestly it's 9 44 and i just got in so very late one i haven't had dinner literally just got in and i was like i haven't picked up the vlog camera from saturday so let me just pick it up and kind of like fill you in i have a lot of dishes here to wash today was a busy work day so i have like dishes here to like clean up because i haven't got the time to like do it today i've just been having lunch having um snacks in between and just leave the dishes here so i need to kind of like clean those dishes up wash my pots and make something to eat i already had bought my grocery that you guys saw i believe i showed you the grocery that i picked up and i couldn't be asked to like cook anything in the pack in the grocery that i picked up so i ended up buying some meat that's like already seasoned it seasoned and i also bought like a tuna so i can have tonight in a pita bread or something and i'm gonna put the seasoned chicken that i bought i'm just gonna put that in the air fryer and i'm gonna have that tomorrow because of how the time is now um i'm gonna try tonight um i want to like do some filming so i'm gonna like film a video i haven't got to like post any content today because i didn't finish editing that content i really want to like cut the curly parts out of my hair because i think they need to go now so if i cut the curly parts out then by the this weekend i can get to like take these braids out of my head because she barely moving now she's kind of like stiff because everything is like stuck together you see so i need to cut the curly bits out but i'll see how much time i have after i finish making dinner and stuff and um yeah um am i tired not really i had like a celsius to drink i'm just very 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 hungry now and you know when you feel like you just want to sit down and do nothing that's how i feel but i'm not like actually tired um i'm hoping that i get to like go to bed at a decent time today because i still have caffeine in my system because i was drinking caffeine the celsius so late i'm gonna put my thick my chicken in the air fryer let me show you what i got you know what i have this thing on my knee and i don't know if i was mentioning the knee sleeve on my right knee my right knee is giving me problem but i feel like it gives more problem when i have the knee sleeve on my knee i don't know if it's like a mind thing that tells you that something is on your knee so your knee is hurting i don't know because when i didn't have it on the other day i ran 10k without the knee thing on and my knee wasn't hurting at all until i put it on today because i know i'm doing have some heavy duty leg day workout which was so good but so 
Yeah. Tray like animals. <laughs> oh, I have sweet potatoes. Absolutely not putting those tonight though. Because I have to peel them. I have to cut them up. I have to wash them. I have to season them. And then I have to put them in the air fryer. Now I'll do it tomorrow. Um, so yeah. I haven't watched Love Island. I really wanted to see you all going in a Casa Amor, but I'm gonna have to watch. Normally, I watch Love Island now at like the end of the week. So, on like Friday, or if I have some, if I don't go to the gym on like a Wednesday or something. But depending on how my foot is feeling, I might go Wednesday and do like a 5K, but it depends. If my foot is still paining, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna come home and kind of like rest, finish up some editing um probably do use the time and do some content that sort of thing so yeah fun times um now tomorrow is back to the nine to five i need to take out an outfit that i'm going to be wearing to work i'm going to try and film for tiktok like my week in my work outfit i only go to work three times a week in the office and i work two times a week from home but to be fair i've been going to work on fridays these past two fridays because in here is just hot and i feel like when i go to work on fridays when there's not much people there i get a lot done um because there's not too much people to like distract me do you know what i mean so i get like a lot done there which is it's nice going on a friday when the bugger noise is not in there but i don't know if i'm gonna go in this friday um i might just work from home but i'll take out about three outfits to um to wear to work and then yeah i'm gonna film my week in my outfit i'll probably just put that on my tiktok and then i'm gonna see if i can continue doing those like on a weekly basis as well so you can look out for those because normally i tend to wear to be fair i tend to wear the same outfits like weekly and rotation but i always switch them up so they seem like so different so um yeah it will be good to like show that so you don't need a bag of stuff to like my way to work but they're still like really cute i feel like my outfits that i wear to work are really cute so this is a chicken that i got the name is not on it this is british chicken breast steak in tikka style marinade so this is what the chicken is like i'm gonna add some of my own seasoning on it and then i'm gonna have that i also have this i haven't had rice in a while so i'm gonna have this whole actually it's whole brain and quinoa so microwave rice and grain i haven't had this in a while i'm just gonna have half of it for lunch tomorrow i'm probably gonna leave the other half so i can have for lunch on the next day um these days i've just been having um just my veg but i saw that i was like you know what something quick for the microwave and then i pick up this this is what i'm gonna just have tonight i'm just gonna put it in my my pita and i'm just gonna have that is it enough no it's not but at least mega eat and then i pick up like um an avocado so i can have some form of like fat on the side so i'm gonna have that for dinner actually yesterday i asked my dad to bring me some curry some mutton and he bring me like a big bag of mutton come and tell us that the mutton big the mutton big it's in the freezer now i'm gonna see if i can cook it i need to get a big pot because i don't have a big enough pot to cook the mutton so i'm gonna need a big pot what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna see if i can find like a big pot on amazon and then i'm gonna cook the whole mutton i don't know when i'm gonna cook it probably gonna be saturday i'll probably cook it on saturday because i'm gonna bring some for the girls that i work out at the gym with i work out with like two people now at my gym um so i'm gonna bring some of the mutton for them so they can have it and then yeah i just need to like buy some stuff but really really excited about the mutton I cook a good mutton as well. I cook a good, good mutton. So I need to get like the proper curry powder. And then I need to get, I have scotch bonnet. I have like all the other stuff. I literally just need to get a big pot. I'm hoping that the mutton just don't take me three, four hours to cook. Because I don't have any pressure cooker. But I know it's going to be really good. Because like I said, I cook a banging mutton. So I'm excited for that on Saturday. And you know mutton are good with like white rice. I haven't had white rice in a while. But we're going to have white rice with the mutton. Because if you have mutton you have to broth the white rice. And I'm going to um, make sure I have avocado as well. Because I like a look at avocado upon the side. And some hot sauce. I'm just thinking about it now. I'm like oh. Anyways I'm wasting time. I need to try and like take you guys to the gym with me one day. So you can see like my workout. Especially like my leg workout. You would have said, girl, like, what are you training for? 
but it's always it always feels so so good after like literally because now i'm on like a i don't know if i mentioned like the journey that i'm on at the moment so the journey that i'm on i need to lose some some body fat so i'm trying to lose some body fat you know you're in kind of like weird stage when you're trying to lose body fat but you don't want to lose weight or you don't but it, it's just not gonna happen babe so i I just accept the fact that right now just focus on losing the body fat and don't care too much about the weight but I'm still lifting like heavy and stuff um, which my leg doesn't seem to like lose any of the definition my leg muscle is like really defined at the moment and my glutes as well which is really good still want to grow, grow the upper, upper glutes a, a little bit more but she is she's nice she's sitting nice so that is my goal when it comes on to that part. I'm not really bulking now. Maybe in winter time, I'll bulk, I really want to lose the body fat. I've never really seen my gut area. Maybe I need to just heal my gut as well because, boy, that is another story. I've never seen, like, my belly. I, I, have, I have little abs. You can see it like it's underneath and I can feel it. But there's fat that's sitting on top of it that I really want it to go because I'd like to see that part of me i've never really seen her you know <laughs> so i'm i'm working towards like losing a bit more body fat especially about around my mid area and then i'm also trying to like work on my cardio which i'm definitely getting better before i could barely run like five minutes straight and now i'm running even more than that i'm even running a 10k and only stopping like couple times run a 5k on sunday only stop three times just to drink water so i'm getting a lot a lot better i'm also doing stair master before when i do the stair master we have the stair master workout that we do and when i tell you that i could barely go through three minutes now i can do more than that and i just use like the timing and so to kind of like you know judge how i've improved and stuff and it's been going really good in terms of like the the body fat thing i haven't checked like my body fat recently um and I, I don't know if i'm seeing any difference so i need to take a progress picture and compare it to the ones that i already have and then i can see if i'm seeing any difference but i'm trying my hardest to like cut down on like the carbs and kind of be in like a slight deficit um and see if that will really you know help with my situation a little bit this is my chicken i'm gonna chuck this in the air fryer and then i'm just gonna finish cleaning up and jump into the shower so i can actually i'm just gonna eat first because i should have like eat already because i'm in that window when i just work out i'm done eating cleaning up i'm just about to like shit i'm not gonna be able to go into this side of the closet because the jaw won't close i need to get the iron oh i wanted to like run out this shirt that i'm gonna wear to work tomorrow just this white shirt, I'm going to wear it with some jeans, a belt, and some shoes. But I can't get into that side of the drawer. What else can I wear? I hate ironing, like, honestly. It's because I don't have that much stuff to, like, bring to the dry cleaning each week. Sometimes I just be avoiding the things that I need to iron and just wear anything something else Honestly, it's like after 11 now and I'm a little bit tired now. I need to go to bed But I just want 11 18. So I just want to iron this and then shower and go straight into bed I was gonna like cut the the hair out, but I'm not gonna do it today You see I'm not gonna do it today because girl Uh-uh uh, uh, uh. just finish ironing take out my outfit for the week i just pick out like three outfits now i'm about to shower and hit the hay because i'm tired i don't even know like, what time it is now let me check 11 37 jesus i've been on my feet all day Ooh. bless me anyway so i'm gonna jump into the shower anyways guys i'm going to shower and i shall see you tomorrow if i don't thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you did enjoy you know what to do the subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also if you want to see like the outfits that i picked out they will be on my tiktok so make sure you follow me there 
or my Instagram. I don't know if I'm going to put them on Instagram. They might be just on my TikTok. I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Bye. Don't give my shit away.